Welcome to the State Television Campaign of Western Armenia broadcast for today. We should always express thoughts in such words that primarily refer to reappropriation of our rights and values. Mr. Armenia Gabrihanian. Adam Schiff and 47 congressmen call on the USA to protect the Armenian cultural heritage of Artsakh. Hovanes Mukherjee's Church of Kanadjam of Shushi. Baku should realize the FA implementation of Armenian refugee rights. Photos of forcibly displaced families from Artsakh were presented at the photo exhibition in Uruguay. The Armenian team won eight medals at the International Olympiad in Applied Biology. Representatives of Eastern Armenia will participate in the Olympic Games in Paris. We should always express thoughts in such words that primarily refer to a reappropriation of our rights and values, said the President, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian. We should always express thoughts in such words that primarily refer to a reappropriation of our rights on reappropriation of our territories, identity, status, culture, and all those values that made us exist as a nation for millenniums, said Armenak Abrahamian, the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, during the meeting discussion of the 8th anniversary of the ratification of the Treaty of Severus. According to him, the liberation of the Artsakh territory is fundamental for the restoration of the Republic of Western Armenia. There was a lack of territory for the Republic of Western Armenia, and this territory, which is symbolic from the point of view of resistance, began with the liberation of Shushi. During the First War of Artsakh, we felt moments of sacrifice and glory. By liberating Artsakh, we were able to regain the National Council of Western Armenia and then the Armenian Legion in Shushi. Our dedication allowed us to liberate the territory and regain the state of Western Armenia, emphasized the President and continued. In order to regain and strengthen this state, which was recognized by more than 20 countries, it was necessary to make an official declaration, create representatives who would represent Western Armenia all over the world, and would restore the government. Emphasized Mr. Abrahamian that a government was created, which was located in Yerevan and Shushi, being able to form and manage the reappropriation mechanisms. We created the Parliament of Western Armenia and worked for more than two and a half years to create the national constitution. Based on the constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia, we elected the first president of a regained Western Armenia state. You imagine all this way and this daily work, said Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, the president of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. United States Congressman Adam Schiff and his congressional members of 47 Group colleagues has addressed a letter to Secretary of State Antony Blinken and urged the U.S. to protect the endangered Armenian heritage sites in Artsakh during all subsequent diplomatic communications with Baku officials. In particular, the letter also states that there is an evidence that shows Baku's military attack against Artsakh in September 2023. Baku continues its strategy of erasing Armenian culture both in this region and beyond the region. The executive bodies emphasize that the State Department should do everything to prevent Baku's action. The letter emphasized the systematic destruction of Armenian heritage took place in Nakhijevan in 1997-2011, as well as the recent destruction of the Church of St. Hovanes Magartic in Shushi. Around 500 Armenian cultural heritage constructions are at risk, including the world's oldest churches and monasteries, which date back to the 4th century, and carved hajkars, which were included by UNESCO in the representative list of the entanglable cultural heritage of humanity. Church St. Hovanes or Kanadjam is translated as Green Church. It is situated in the city of Shushi and is located on the western part of the plateau from where one can see the whole panorama of the city. It can be seen from almost every residential area of the city. It was blown up shortly after the 2020 war. The dome and the bell tower are damaged. Baku is denying the Armenian affiliation of the church and not accepting the previous renovation started the work of transforming the structure into a Russian church. The historical the church was originally built by the community members who moved from the villages of Artsakh to Shushi. That's why it was also called the Church of Karabakhtsot. The church got the name Kanadjam as Green Church because the dome of the structure was green. In 1995, after the liberation of Shushi, during the renovation works on the church, the church domes, the portal were restored and the interior was completed. The state system of Baku is living in another hysteria regarding to the military cooperation between Eastern Armenia and France. 
In particular, it is mentioned that the Macron regime, which pursues a policy of geopolitical intrigues in the South Caucasus region, is an obstacle to the normalization of relations between Eastern Armenia and Baku and the provision of stable peace in the region. The Pan-Armenian Union considers it necessary to remind that during the past years and also today, the only country has not continuously fulfilled its international obligation, including decisions of the International Court of Justice, it is Baku. They are reminded about the blockade of Artsakh, the war against the civilian population, Armenians who were forced to displace and the uh, ethnocytes of the Armenian cultural environment on the forced the population of historical guardman Sherwan Nahijevan and on the dispossession of Armenians on the complete elimination of the Armenian historical and cultural trace. Therefore, the government Sherwan Nahijevan Pan Armenian Union strongly condemns the efforts of Baku, which presents Eastern Armenia as an aggressor in the eyes of the international community. Baku first should realize that it has a great highest obligation towards Armenian refugees of 1988, 1992, and 2020, 2023 as the highest manifestation of racial discrimination accompanied by episode of genocide. On the occasion of the World Refugee Day, the photo exhibition was opened, Hope Far From Home, at the Karasku International Airport in Montevideo, within the framework of which were also photographs showing a forcibly displaced families from Artsakh. This was reported by the Embassy of Eastern Armenia in Uruguay. We are living in difficult times and the system to provide people with shelter is in danger. The head of the South American Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees noted that there are 120 million refugees in the world, displaced people, and their number is increasing every minute. The representatives of Eastern Armenia won two gold, five silver, and one bronze medals at the fourth International Olympiad in the field of applied biology. It is noted that eight students who represented the three educational centers were awarded by medals. Fifteenth grade student of Kvant School, Aram Kerobian, and tenth grade student of Yerevan State University STEM School, Mariam Galastan, won gold medals. The participants had previously participated in the online format and passed the preliminary two rounds and had the opportunity to participate in the final round. More than 100 students from our country and students from USA, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, Nepal and Philippines participated in the final round. Now our country has 15 representatives at the 31st Summer Olympic Games to be held in Paris from July 26 to August 11. Free swimmers Artur Barsarian, Varsenik Manuchadian and runner Alison Halverson ensured their participation in Olympic Games. They will try their hand at 100 meters distance. Among swimmers, Arthur will compete in freestyle, varsenic in butterfly and track and field team member Allison in sprint. It should be noted that after the European Water Sport Championship held recently in Belgrade, Arthur Barsarian and Varsenik Mountarian received the highest ranking points, which gave the swimmers ticket to go to Paris. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you peace and harmony. Goodbye.